ni hatima hatima uh, wamesimulia kitengo cha PCM wala kanisani yenye ndio kiongozi wa PCM that is public campus ministries hatima walikusalimia eh hatima invite me mia niambia kwamba to take stewardship sawa uh, i inform the elder kwamba nitakuwa hapa our first church elder akaniambia niwasalimie ninawasalimia hamjamu bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena uh, our topic sitaki ku kwani introduction msikupewa salamu kutoka kwa familia juu sina familia so niko tu na salamu na niweze nimewapea <laughs> the topic that we are going to handle in asema call me nahumi don't call me mara call me nahumi don't call me mara that is the topic uh tuombe Mungu tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya ulinzi wako tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya vipao umetupea tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya uhai ombi langu ni moja kwamba tusamee vipao hisi ambazo umetubariki naso tusitumie kukutukusha wewe nimesimama mbele ya watu wana wako kunena mambo ya mbingu ninakualika nena nami na unena kupitia kwangu kulingana na mapenzi yako ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini tumesoma fast we have read from the book of Luke 4 verse 18 na Biblia ilikuwa ilisema kwamba the spirit of the lord is on me you know the bible say when the, the, the bible say that the spirit of the lord is on me or when the spirit of the lord is upon man that is an indication that there is an assignment because once god has given you an assignment the spirit of the lord must be upon you so the past is trying to explain about the assignment of who of Jesus Christ and what are these assignments number one, because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor so one of the assignments that Jesus came to do on this earth was to bring good news number two, he has sent me to proclaim freedom for prisoners uh, I, i think kuna fast inatumia heart broken ni fast gani ile Yeah, King James. The whose song are you first? Passion. Yes. The spirit of the Lord is upon me mm-hmm. because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Uh-huh. He hath sent me to heal the broken-hearted. To heal the broken-hearted. To preach deliverance to the captives uh-huh. and recovering of sight to the blind, uh-huh. to set at liberty them that are bruised. Good. Now, today ninataka tuongelelee ili jambo la to heal the broken hearted you know i've come to realize kama kuna watu ambao wako broken hearted sana kitambo tulikuwa tunafikiria ni wasasi but i come to realize that youths wamekuwa heart broken wamepondwa sio relationship sio kusota sio nini sio mambo ya ukristo we have been broken yani tume tumehatiwa Now one of the assignment Yesu alikuta kufanya ni to heal the broken hearted. So leo tunaenda ku kutengeneza his roho ambazo zimekuwa broken. I don't know wewe umebrokiwa au umekuwa heart broken aje but leo tunaenda kusiponya kwa jina la Yesu Bwana asifiwe. Now the effect of being broken hearted or going through pain the effect of mnaoisikia by the way kwamba kuna mtu aliamka siku moja akakatakata watoto wake na akaua bibi yake na yeye akajiua. Si tumesikia hizo cases. Tumesikia kwamba mtoto wa university obvious ni ndio ndio tutasema. Lakini ni kweli. Ndio sio kisipa guys. Ile ya watu wa media wanaonea kisi sana. Ni sawa, ni sawa. Now ama unasikia kuna kijana wa university alikuwa na dengi akamwacha 
Jana akamuwela kwa njia na panga, akamuwa. Hai kukulongen, sinio? Bado munasema ni kistina. Anyway, number one, it can cause numberness. It can cause numberness. The effect of going through pain. Number one, it can cause numberness. Umoi pitia shida, baka sasa ujiambie sasa. Nikamu for example, when we were in primary, you nikuwa na chakua. Baka sasa unakatu, unakauka. Baka unambiwa ya asimesha. Why? Because of numberness. Ulikuwa uchakwe tati, lakini siliisha kitambo. That is, if you have number one. Number two, pain can cause you to injure the innocent people. Ndiya hawa wana uwa watu. Ndiya hawa wana, wana kwanya bituku. It can cause you to injure the innocent people. Number three, it can cause you to make a decision that makes you regret in the rest of your life. You go through pain. For example, Nimushchana, unatoka from a poor family, unata kwa maia vile mwishumbuka, then unajiambia heli ni anja shule ni yorewe. Because of pain. Then finally, you come to regret. Regret in the rest of your life. Your life. Mama ni kijama na jiambia, papa ni mulevi na mama ni mulevi, kuna matusi kwa familu na sema, heri ni anja shule ni oe, tuwenda tuishi kwa blood. The effect of going through pain. Number four, it can lead to suicidal mind. Suicidal mind. Ukipitia pain, ukiwa heartbroken sana. Sometimes, the last decision inakua ni? Suicide. Sinikue. Number last, it can cause you to hate some some people in the rest of your life. Ladies, do this better. Yeah, it's always more Malaysia. I don't matter how it's yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, you. I don't do you put on a big one. It's time to salim me. Pay, pay. Now, MP, pay is part of life. You don't do not say how. One but pay is part of life. Being broken hearted is part of life. Imagine, umeishi miyaka 25. Umekutana na mchana umemukatia two months. Alamu unakua heart broken, unasahau shika umepitia for 25 years, alamu unajinyonga because of a relationship of two months. Kwa? Hiyo ni kukana kiri. Mwana ume unaacha kukula, unalusi weight. Because you may actually. Mushana unaka, usongi nyuele, unaka kama ya. Because of. Now. Now, we have types of pain. We have four types of pain. Number one is what we call consequential pain. Consequential pain. It comes as a result of decision made. Consequential pain. Uliacha shule ukawaleo. Kufika huko uliporofumisiwa ever ni kumbi unapelekwa hell. So you start to do what? To regret. Hapa ni unansa kukumbuka vile mama yako alikuwa na kuangaresa na sauti mzuri. Mtoto wangu. Siku malise shule. Kijana. Siku malise shule kwanza. Consequential pain. It becomes as a result of a decision. Man. Umeamua kwamba unikuchingisa kwa kutei. Unatei, unatei, ulevi, 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 unatia shule second year. So... Rafiki sako wanapita. Kasa kipita na wali kwa wabarabara kazi yako ni kutoleka ya sikuwane. Consequential pain. Number two, inflicted pain. Inflicted pain. This is a type of pain that comes from external forces. It is sexual abuse, child labor, bitu kama hizo. That is inflicted pain. Last, uh, number four is situational pain. Situational pain. This is a planned pain, e.g. COVID. Situational pain. For example, mulikuwa mwalise shule hii semester, nile shetani ni mpaya, shule inaungua. Ama kitu fulani na hape in between. You know, how to plan, yes, you know, situational pain. And the last three is, Discipleship kind of pain. This is a type of pain that comes as a result of being a disciple of Christ. But today, I want us to cover that type of pain. Number one, consequential pain. Sabab, he, you will affect the jana wengi, sana. Lapto uli chingisa kwa uleni, ume shindwa kutoka. Lapto uli chingisa katika mamba ya geisi, ume shindwa kutoka. 
Labda ulichingisa katika mambo ya lisipianism umeshindwa kutoka. So you are facing the consequences. Consequential pain. Now. Uh, consequence of pain it, it is mostly it mostly comes as a product of personal decision. Before people faces consequence of pain, there are some people who try to warn you, cancel you and tell you this is not the right thing to do and you come to regret later. Consequential <laughs> Kama Consequential. So they are facing the consequences of the decision they they made. Lakini mimi kwa sababu nilichukua decision nzuri ndio maana leo nimesimama mbele ya wanafunzi wa university naongea na nyinyi. You know every decision has a consequences. Ni ukwe. Now, uh, uh, the, the hardest thing with consequential pain is that it does it, it does not take the external power to take it away, but it only takes the intervention of the Holy Spirit to lift you up and continue with the journey. Consequential pain, what it takes heavenly intervention. Consequential pain. You know, they say that men can walk with you but for a time. But no man can walk you out of pain. Men can walk with you for, for a time. But no man can take you out of Hata kama ni chari yako. Ni kukutanganya. Hei, tukona wele. Tunapikia isi shita kwa munde. Wele ukikua kwa hivyo unakesha kulia hea na suwa kwa ugali. Kwa munde. Kwa munde. Kwa munde. Kwa munde. Men can work with you, but for a time. But no man can work you out of pain. Many of those who go through consequential pain tend to build a wall for themselves that no one can get in, only to forget that they, they too cannot work out of it. Yani, when you get the salary, while I can say it, she was very happy. I told him by Missouri. Did you call me Shetani and Oleanda Magoista? So the lady went through this consequence of pain. Yani il you have to expect because I don't know which consequence of pain you are going through, but the level to end up with a solution. What has it been? Now, uh, we want to to nataka nataka mtu anasoma vizuri, asome the book of Ruth from chapter number one to twenty. Apo ndiyo samoni yote tato. Mwenye anasoma vizuri, atikuwe mind. Ruth one, verse one to twenty. Says. Uh -huh. The days. 
when the judges ruled, uh -huh. there was a farmer in the land. And a certain man of Bethlehem in Judah went to sojourn in the city of Moab. And he and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malon and Kilion. They were Ephrathites, Ephrathites from Bethlehem in Judah. They went into the country of Moab and remained there. But Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. These took Moabite, uh, these took Moabite wives. The name of the one was Orpa, the name of the other Ruth. They lived there about ten years, and both Malon and Kilion died, so that the woman was bereft, bereft of her two sons and her husband. Verse six. Then she started with her daughters-in-law to return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. So she set out from the place where she was with her two daughters-in-law, and they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. But Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, But Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go, return each of you to her mother's house. May the Lord deal kindly with you, as you have dealt with the dead, as you have dealt with the dead with me. The Lord grant you, the Lord grant that you may find a home, each of you in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them, and they lifted up their voices and wept. And they said to her, No, we will return with you to your people. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Have I yet sons in my womb that they may become your husband? Turn back, my daughters. Go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, even if I should have a husband this night and should bear sons, will you therefore wait till they were grown? Will you therefore refrain from marrying? No, my daughters, for it is exceedingly bitter to me, for you are saying that the hand of the Lord has gone forth against me. Verse 14. Then they lifted up their voices and wept again, and Orpa kissed her mother-in-law, but Ruth clung to her. And she said, See, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you or to return from following you. For where you will go, and where you will lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and where will I, and there will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more also, even death parts me from you. And when Naomi saw that she was determined to go with her, she said no more. So the two of them went on until came to Bethlehem. And when they came to Bethlehem, the whole town was stirred because of them. And the woman, uh, women said, Is this Naomi? She said to them, Do not call me Naomi, call me Mara. For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. I went away full, the Lord has brought me back empty. Why call me a Naomi, when the Lord has afflicted me? And the Do Almighty not call me Naomi, call me Mara. Mara. No. Literature, the characters of the story. So there are the characters of the story here. One of them is uh, who? One of them is Naomi. Uh, Naomi means pleasant. Do not call me Naomi. Call me Mara. 
But the definition of the word Nahomi means pleasant. Elimelech means God is great. And Olva means Gazelle. Unatua Gazelle. Then Ruth means loving. Uh, Bethlehem means the house of bread because it was the wheat bearer. It was what kept the economy of Israel. It, Bethlehem, wheat ni ingam. Ilikuwa ni 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 store ya ngam. Ilikuwa ina keep the economy in terms of food supply in Bethlehem. But to Nami Wakwamba, family struck the area, so the couple made a decision to go to dwell in the land of Moabite. In the time of crisis, be very sensitive with the decision you make. You see, how are to Njai Megonga, better help, Wameamua Kwamba, Wata to Toraka, to end up with Moab. Moab, we will see the origin of Moab. Remember better help? Better help also means the presence of God. Sasa wana, they are running from the presence of God because of famine. They are going to dwell in, in Moab. So to Nambiwa Kwamba, uh, in times of crisis, be very sensitive with the decision you make. There are some people who transist in the crisis before it is even time to. You face a crisis. Labda ni kusota. Then you najiambia, hey, ni kusota ni. Ni kusota pa. So you face a transition. Like, uh, like, like Nahomi. Crisis in Megonga Bethlehem, when Toroka, because of a crisis, when I talk with you, Moab. By the way, there are people who are regretting because of this crisis. Then you can be so known, I say, Yaku ni Yamukumba, Shaki ni Yamukumba, Sui na Yamukumba, Kabeshi Yamu wapa, Amepiga Luku, Sui ni Yerukunan, because you have a response. Ah, wana, ni Yeri Ukristo Ikai. Una India Moab. You run from Bethlehem. So to Nabi Wakwamba, uh, in terms of crisis, be very sensitive with the precision you make. There are some people who transist in the crisis before it is even time to. There are people who enter into marriage before it is before it is not even time to because of a crisis. There are people who left their job because of a crisis. There are people who left school because of a crisis. Only to forget that there is no permanent crisis. Najua, kwa wale wakisi mungu hapa, muna jua ila musema inasema, Utaka angoli? Utaka angoli pamane. Umasikini siyo pamane. Eh? Kuna watu, niliwana mtu wanaulizia kwa Facebook, sifi kama ni jokes kwa mba, ninatafuta website ya kuhindia Freemason, ninasawaka sana. Eh? Now, even, even in times of, eh, Anytime you are emotional, you become hundred percent unlogical, and you begin to respond to emotions. Anytime you are emotional, you become a hundred percent unlogical. Na yuko na wapu, for example, muto wako kuambia good night. So you become too emotional, and you become a hundred percent unlogical. So within one minute, kumadika. A thesis ya matuzi. <laughs> because you are unlogical. Thesis ya matuzi. Sasa ninajua uwa na mamutu, ninajua sijui nini. Eh? Anytime you are emotional, you become 100% unlogical. It is in the time, it is in the place of a, a place of a crisis that we need soberness. It is in the place of crisis that we need soberness. You can lose everything but never lose your mind because you need it to make a decision for tomorrow. So you may have to say, you know, like you only, she pay a muta, muta, was a big area. Because you now, there are a category of people who transist before it is time because of a pressure. Never allow emotional breakdown to be reason for you to seek transition. Emotional breakdown. Isi wa ndiyo sababu ya kusik transition. Kijana wenzamu. Kwa hata mimi ni kijana ni mewabia. Sijawa. Lakini emotions. Sini affect the kijana wenye. Wamechukua decision mbae. Do you know kuna mtu tuwa natawa stress to your pump? Eh? Anda kukumbuka kile stress ime mungu wanga. Ana? Ana anda ananunua marura siju sinaituwa kaji. Kutuwa stress. Never allow. Never allow. Nisema never allow emotion breaks down to be a reason for you to seek a transition. Even in times of plenty, scarcity can come. Even in times of plenty, remember, 
Bethlehem ilikuwa ni ndiyo food supply ya 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 ile inchi lakini Biblia inasema kwamba ukawa na nini kiangazi so even uh, even in times of plenty just can can come but there is part, part that is part of life but remember in times of good times and bad times god remain to be god mna remember the way to to job wakati yeye aliona kwamba job amegongwa sana na shetani alimwambia tuse mungu na ufanye nini na ukufe lakini job alimwambia aje yule mungu ambaye ni mungu wa mema ndiye yeye yule 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 mungu ambaye bado kujipitia mabaya anabaki kuwa nani anabaki kuwa mungu lakini most of the time vijana wengi tunasahau we always forget unajua huko kisi niliwaambia mimi nataka kisi bwana asilie eh huko kisi wa mama wananifurahisha bila wanalia kwa matana mungu ulikuwa wapi wapi ulikuwa wapi mimi sasa unataka eh sasa unaanza kuuliza mungu mahali alikuwa kwa sababu kuna mtu amekufa una sasa ni kama unaona mungu amechange position but remember mungu anabaki kuwa yule yule mungu yule yule mungu now eh Uh, the pro- the problem with the current generation uh, the problem with the current generation we are in, in we are impatient and uh, we are impatient and uh, we are impatient and we don't accept change that is the problem with the current generation we are impatient yani unataka umalize university tv uajiwe na tsc unasahau kuna mwana amekula 10 inch bado serikali na mkosita bwana so unataka kuna degree sasa unajua ni kama tulifanya round course sasa nimekaa miezi sita inje kuna mwana amekaa miaka 10 eh sisi sasa tumesoma maana sasa tunafanya mchengo sisi nini mimi siwezi now Uh, they say hard time produce hard men hard men produce soft life and the generation of the soft life produce hard times hard men produce soft life baba yako alishughulika anakutafutia school fees wewe uko hapa tu ni kustare eh ni kustare kustare kupiga sherehe the uh, nilisema hard uh, Hard time produce hard men. Hard men produce soft life and the generation of the soft life produce hard times. Unajua kuna watu hapa, mtoto kulikuwa na kuna ninajua hapa kuna wazazi. Eh? Ninajua kuna watu wako na watoto hapa si ni ukweli. Lakini siku moja kijana kama huyu upate labda anafanya kakibarua, kuna mchapo unamwambia ni nini sichakulisha, ni nini sichakupea. Unafanya vibarua So wewe baba yako alishughulika akangangana akangangana ukamaliza university akakuletia soft life. So you want to create hard time for the future generation. Najua mimi by the way nguo yangu ya kwanza baba yangu alinenunulia nilikuwa class 6. Nilifanya makosa nikaenda kununua kasimu. Nilikanunua ita kwa maana kumbuka wale kasimu kwa sababu kwa kupiga karona. Ile karanda siji karanda ya Kiswahili sanifu wewe umekuwa mwana huyu. Sikuwezi kununulia kitu. So nikaanza na hiyo hard hard man. Nikaanza kupitia hapo kupanda sukuma na dausa pale daraja mpaka wale walikuwa wananiita sukuma. Nikita hiyo na sukuma najua ni vile anaita. Yeso namwambia sawa na hawa waelewe. Hard time produce hard man. So sometimes unapopitia haya maisha magumu inakutengeneza inakuchea. Si ni ukweli. Huyo mwana alikuacha, nilisema ninakukusa kwamba bado katika kanisa la Mungu kuna fisi. Si ni ukweli. Now. Now. The origin of Moab. The origin of Moab. Remember, scarcity imegonga nchi ya Bethlehem. Ruth wame wame ame 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 anza sabari rudi wanake kilion his son and malon wameenda wapi moab now the origin of moab we want to know the origin of this place ambao wametoka from the presence of god 
wanatoroka because of scarcity kwaenda kuishi na waliishi huko miaka ngapi kulisoma 10 years now mark was a product of incest between the lord and his children do you know what is incest yes. what is incest somebody to say from the congregation incest ni nini sex with relative imagine sasa generation ya sex with relative hiyo generation mnatoroka from the presence of god mnaenda kuishi generation let us confirm from the bible somebody to open the book of genesis 19 Verse 33 to 38. You know Moab. Moab we go there after Sodom. Before you read, muna kumbuka Sodom na Gomorrah wakati iliaribiwa. Mungu akaambia Lot, inuka toka hii mti kwa sababu nitafanya nini? Nitauharibu. So after the, the, the destruction of uh, Sodom and Gomorrah Moab in Asali wa somebody to read it says it says but that he says what are you as open a mic ama kupea soka na hii your water was still Genesis chapter Aha 1933 says that night they got their father to drink wine and the elder daughter went in and slept with him he was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up the next day the elder daughter said to the other last night i slept with my father let's get him to drink wine again tonight and to go in and sleep with him so we can preserve our family like through our father 35 so they got their father to drink wine that night also and the younger daughter went in and sleep with him again he was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up so both of lost daughters become pregnant by their father the elder daughter had a son and she named him Moab he is the father of Moabites of today the younger daughter also had a son and she named him Ben Ami he, he is the father of the Ammonites of today yani <laughs> Sala mwana kwa mwana ilipo walipiwa wanaume wote wakakufa Lord Lord na wachana wake wawili wakaambiwa waende to the mountain kwa sababu Mungu atafanya nini atauharibu mji walipofika pale and remember this were virgins man is breaking for you need your father you know we are youth we are youth ni kwe tunaambiwa Kuchana mkubwa sisi kama ni hii ujanja ya tunaiki kwa naika mchele sisi tunawekewa na raha. Sisi alitumia dawa gani akawaka kwa hiyo pombe? Sisi kama ni pombe aliweka lakini bibili nasema alimpea pombe. Alipompea pombe baba karara let the lady have sex with baba. 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 Yaani akarara na baba yake Rafa asubuhi kama kujia the last one ya kumwambia ndio nilifanya ile kitu so ni time yako <laughs> ni time yako na yeye akakuja na yeye akafanya the same same thing the first born akasa the generation of moabites na wa pili akasa the generation of ammonites so lord uh, root I mean uh, Naomi sasa anatoroka from the presence of God anaenda to the cursed community of Moabite hapo ndiye anaenda kuishi Now Sodom was a city of gays so the daughters of Lot have no boyfriend to get married to Yaani Sodom ilikuwa imeharibika kiasi kwamba wanaume hawakuwa na wasiwaacha na wanawake they were gays imagine ukifika mahali I'm sorry you give that like the boy example why Now, Sodom was a city of gays, so the daughters of Lot have no boyfriend to get married to. When the men saw the two angels coming to the house of Lot, ukisoma Genesis 19 verse 5 to 9, kuna wala malaika walikuja pale. Unakumbuka hiyo story? Wanaume wanasema, tumeona wanaume wameingia hapo wageni. We want to have sex with them. Lord anawaambia kwamba let me give you my daughters ili mulane na wao na wanaume wanamwambia we are gays we don't do women 
So unaposikia kama soda unangomora iliharibiwa haikuwa na dhambi kiasi ilikuwa na dhambi msito. All men who are gay to understand that wanapewa ladies who are virgins. Unaambiwa for free. Wow, don't do it. Sisi tunataka hawa wanaume wawili. Nakumbuka hawa wanaume ni vijana na baba zao. So yani wasa pafate ni, ni siti ambayo ilikuwa imeharibika so tunaambiwa kwamba after this god told the lord to to run to the mountain of sohar which was a place of safety and the preparation in some genesis 19 verse 19 to 20 but where lord went was his own location and in that location is where the generation of moabite came from Sodom was a perfected city but the men of Sodom never slept with their mothers. Here is a perfected people who have never seen but they have they are carrying a perfected ideology. You see this lady is a virgin. Si ni kweli. Lakini hakili na ubongo ilikuwa imepemba uchafu. Now there is unakuta kijana kama huyu hapo na simu kali kuliko watu wengine hapo. So unapata huyu kijana labda namba kona ni yake na ya mama yake na kwa wako na wifi iko strong. So you you find a uh, boy of this age amekuwa introduced to pornography movies. Usiku alalia na kesha akisoma vitabu. Pornography. <laughs> Now. Unafikiri yule kijana hajawahi fanya dhambi lakini kwa akili yake kitu imechao huko ni nini? Pornography na mawaso mengine. Nowadays hata kwa TV atanisho sijui connection So the generation we are living here tunaelekea by the way kwa Sodom. Hao wajana they were virgins. They have never seen but kwa akili yao they were carrying a perverted ideology. Here is a perverted people who have never seen but they are carrying a perverted ideology. Them eh uh, The media is teaching our children Perfection. They have never had sex, but they know everything about sex. The devil is not afraid that our children have never had sex. He is afraid that they don't know about sex. Chetani hawa wapi kwamba watoto wao nyinyi nyota ni mafajo. Ama hawa watoto they are virgins. He is afraid that they don't know about sex. So the only thing you are sasa ni kwa oriente through media. So nakuta katika kama haka I'm using you as an example. <laughs> Unakuta mtoto kama huyu kwa akili yake. Baada ya kinyume hata kuna watoto wanajiua, the age of 10 amejiua juu ameyote na kakui friend. Kama kwa age of 10 akakuli kama na alza. Usi ya mapenzi. Sababu ya mapenzi. Now. He is afraid that they don't know about sex. You don't need to talk to your now to for those who have children. I'm giving you a parent uh, lesson. Now. Uh You don't have to talk to your children at the age of 14 to 15 because by then they have developed the perception and the concept and have developed attitudes toward life. Start to talk to them as young as 5 all the way to 12. In parenting you don't give rules, you give explanation. Just like you want to say, "Ni siwe kupata na kaboy friend." Siwe kupata na kaboy friend. Sasa hajawahi muelekeza kwa nini asiwe kupata na kaboy friend. Yeye tu kila siku nilikuwa na kaboy friend. Don't give rules. Give what? Explanation. That is parenting. Ambia mtoto. This is the consequences. Utapata mimba, utaacha shule. From the age of that okay, I'm going to go to Kenya and I'm Because already he ni expert here hapa ni ile, ataingia kwa practical. Bado ako class. Ataenda practical. Now. The firstborn syndrome. The only sister slept with his father. And she told the younger sister to do the same the next day. The Moabite become the caste community. So Naomi is running from the presence of God to the caste land. Then sometimes she just go and talk to her kids. We some some bit about that. Mama na kuwa sadab. That is where I'm heading. Did you hear that? By the way, did you hear that? One. Sababu wa wili wa kiamu aku kupangia. Aku kasiri kana wewe. Wanti wa tatu wara. Anyway. Uh, so Lord 
is running from so now is running from presence of God to the cursed land. Situation can make men to run from where God is and land into a cursed land. Situations. There is a place you enter and the loss is inevitable. Yani the Lord are in here to more happy. Kitu ya kwanza wanaka Kitu ya pili vijana wao walioa the more happy women. The two sons wakakufa. You know there are decisions you can make in this life and the loss will be heavy then. Kuna mali unajingisha tu hivi. Uanza kuona consequences. Lord aliingia Moab hivi bwana amekufa. Watoto wawili wamekufa. Sasa amebaki yeye ni mchane na wachane wengine wawili. Why? Because he has years and the Torah of Rome. Bethlehem ameenda kuishi from the cast community. Kuna watu wana hii kanisa yetu ya Adventist tu wanasema hii kanisa haina roho. So wanaenda ile nyingine ya Paribashaika. Bila paka. Paka. Football hiyo hii kanisa imwabudu Mungu. So unasema Adventist haina ukweli, haina roho. Utakaogea wapi? Moab. Na ukifika Moab, loss becomes inevitable. Now Uh, you must come out of Moab to be blessed. When Naomi heard that there is food in Bethlehem, she started a journey back. Now, I don't know where. Wewe umejingisha Moab gani? Ni Moab ya ukaapa. Ni Moab ya ofisi. Yaani wewe ni hit. Wanaitwa hit runners. Wale wa kwama na sotoro. Hit and run. Which Moab are you? I know. Kila mtu ako na kama Moab itikaki. Nikamoha baitika lesbianism nikamoha baitika gayism nikamoha baitika ni umetorokea you have run umetoroka kutoka the presence of god the man you go in moha loss is inevitable loss is inevitable kwa sababu ukiingia moha you will lose everything uki run from the presence of god what are you waambie nini mmebarikiwa if you will run from this presence of god pale nje loss will be inevitable so Tunaambiwa when Naomi had that there is food in Bethlehem she started a journey back. Bwana asifiwe. Remember yes, she has lost everything. Lakini aliposikia kwamba Mungu ameisuru Bethlehem the ungano tena imemea Naomi alianza safari from Moab back to where? Bethlehem. Now she came to Moab with children and a husband but she is living there as a widow and without children and with a lot of other widows. Yaani umekuja na watoto. Alafu unatoka ukiwa mchana na umepekwa wachana wenzako. You can see that chani. Ni chani ya widow. Sasa hata kitu wana communicate hapa ni stories za shida tu. Hakuna raha. Eh? Ni mambo ya kila mtu anakumbuka bwana yake. Sile sile vitu walikuwa wanafanya. They are going back to where? They are going back to Bethlehem. When I talk about Moab, lakini tunaambiwa kwamba she came back uh, and with a lot of other widows. According to the law of the land, women were not allowed to inherit anything unless it was attached to the children of the husband. So kulingana na sheria za wakati ule mwanaume ha mwanamke hakuwa na ridhi mali ya bwana sio saa hii ndio tume divorce tu sababu anaweza kama hakuna hiyo wakati huo kama bwana amekupa na una watoto wewe hakuna kitu unapata so remember naomi amepoteza nini bwana amepoteza watoto na labda aliacha land in the land of moab hii miaka kumi labda imekuwa inherit So anarudi without energy. Hana watoto, hana energy. Kila kitu alienda nacho Moab. Sasa anarudi Bethlehem with nothing. Now, she came to Moab with children and husband, but she is living there with as a widow and without children and with a lot of other widows. According to the law of the land, women were not allowed to inherit anything unless it was attached to the children of the husband. Though Naomi lost everything, that she had she was still determined to go back to Bethlehem bwana sibiwe naomi alisema nimechoka na haya maisha ya moab i'm going back to where bethlehem hata wewe saa hii hiyo moab ile umejingisha start a journey back to where 
Bethlehem. Murudia Mungu tena na utabarikiwa. Now, uh, she was still determined to go back to Bethlehem. The Mohammed community were never allowed to enter into the assembly of God. God people, even to the 10th generation. Kulingana na sheria, Mohammed women, hawakuwa wanakubaliwa waike because they were cast out of the 10th generation. Let us read the book of um, the book of the Deuteronomy 23 verse 3. And remember, Naomi ameanza safari na the Moabite women kuelekea wapi? Bethlehem. Na Bethlehem ilikuwa mwanaume wa Moab alikuwa anaruhusiwa aingie pale. The Bible says no Ammonite, no Ammonite, or Moabite, or Moabite shall enter the assembly of the Lord. Shall enter the assembly of the Lord, even to the tenth generation. Even to the tenth generation, none belonging to them, none belonging to them shall enter the assembly, shall of, enter the Lord the assembly of the Lord forever. Forever. Now may I ask a that the two widows. So what if you can hear? Could I hear a mukisi abaru? Can you hear? Oh, but you go. Ruth here, as I am a little, you are to the point of every. Like in the Kumuka Sharina, as I am a no one, and the Kubari one. Now, the Ruth, I look on here, what happened? To Nami Wahibi, as she was entering, people were asking, Is that Naomi? You know, what happened? Can you say, Kunam Plaza Palenji, and the Kuwa Meshi Maisa Yabang, Kunam Stana Palenji, and Meshi Maisa Yukapa, and how Ruthi can you say, Unaskia Wadu of Kuriza? Is that a second? Quiet, I tell you. Quiet, I mean, you are quiet. I mean, you are and this lady, Alikwa Mesomea Mamana Technology, Kama, Conference, and said, I can't find a better system in a Sumbuawa to connect project. I need to name Mesomea. I know they will say. Lakini na mimi was determined. Was same was in same. Ni mechoka na maisha yao. Moab. I am going back to Bethlehem. So the women are asking. As she was entering, people were asking, "Is that Naomi? Is it's not all about going back? It's the power that is propelling you back. It is better to die in Bethlehem, where God is, than to die in a cast land of Moab." What does it feel? You can you 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 can come with all your kills and all your losses, but you are still coming back to the place of ordinance. I don't. It doesn't matter how you will begin, but it's better to come to Bethlehem. Don't look at how many times you have wasted. Naomi stayed in Moab for ten years. Rise and begin the journey. Begin to live the, the uh, to live that God created you for. 
Haijalishi umefanya apostle marangara. Haijalishi umepeana mimba pale nje marangara. Haijalishi labda you have been in Freemason umetawa kafara marangara. Lakini asa safari kurudi wapi? Bethlehem. Na pale ndio the place of ordinance. Now, Naomi said, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. Alipasikia wanasema, is that Naomi? Naomi akasema, don't call me Naomi, call me what? Mara. Mara. Sometimes kuna watu wamefikia kiwango ukimuita Mkristo anaona na mtusi. Kwa sababu ya the pious, he or she has gone away from who? From God. So unapomwambia Mungu anakupenda, anaenda anakumbuka sile dhambi alimefanya anasema, sioni kama Mungu atafanya nini? and this idea. Now he's saying don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. Now, sometimes when people are wonder wonder or wonder they come down when people are wounded they become toxic. Anytime the devil give you an authority to deny your name, you are denying your identity and you can never transact with your destiny when identity is a potent. Identity. Identity. Our sister here ali, ali, ali about the name. Unapo ataji na lab. Your identity connects you with your destiny. What does it feel? Your identity. So unapo chikata kwamba mimi ni mwenye lab. Mimi ni sifai. Unajisuia with that destiny ambayo mungu amefanya nini? Ame, ame kuekea. Destiny answers to your identity. That's why even Jesus was tested. tested for identity if you are the son of god shetani alikuwa anataka yesu atikataye hadi anamwambia if you are the son of who the son of god now pain can make you about things that god has deposited in your life pain when men are getting out of pain they begin to double match in life what does it mean utakapotoka katika hiyo hali imejingisha labda ni ya ukaapa labda ni ya umalaa labda ni ya kunywa bangi you will begin to double match hapa mbele watasema ndio hiki nikika hapa lakini unamwimbia Mungu kama kidi imeharibika unaenda kukumbuka mahali Mungu amekutoa unaimba mpaka wanasema huyu kichwa imeharibika kama ni kubiri unaenda kukumbuka vile dhambi how far you have gone you will begin to double match in life when when men are getting out of pain they begin to double match in life you need you need you in the next life. Don't allow pain to make you denounce your identity. You are not Mara. You are Naomi. What does it mean? And Naomi means what? Pleasant. You are pleasant. You know the word Mara is to make a wakati Musa. Unakumbuka Musa akiwakivuka mtu. Wakivika kwa desa kuna kunywa maji ambayo ilikuwa ina test. Peter na Musa akasema this water is water of what? Mara. Na hiyo ndio Naomi anajiita. Na hiyo ndio wengi tunajiita. I am Mara. Mimi nimepotoka. Mimi nimeenda mbali na Mungu. But God changes your name. Hata hata Jacob alibadilishwa from Jacob. Jacob si jaliipa urithi. Kutoka Muisi, Mungu akamwambia kuanzia leo wewe sio Muisi. Wewe ni Bethlehem. Wewe ni Israel. Israel. When you come to God, the first thing you have to do is to change your name. I finish a Peter from Peter by alikuwa alikuwa ni stable akamwambia you are the rock. So when you come back to God, you will never remain to be man. You become who? Naomi. You become Naomi. Mungu anakubadilisha jina. Now, you need you uh, the worst thing you can lose in life is your vision. No matter how much time you have fallen, don't remain fallen. What as if you no matter how much you have remained fallen, no matter how much you have gone far away from God, don't remain there. Start a journey back. Now, Ruth, remember to remember, the more by the women who are not allowed to do what? To enter into the assembly of God. Lakini, all of you are Ruth. Moa, si mi kweli. Lakini Ruth yeye alisema itaenda na wewe. Now, Ruth, wanapoingia, wanapoingia Bethlehem, Ruth wako na so you know ni kama for example mukisi una samu wana tu na sura si mkuu hata 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 samu duos hata 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 mdua by the way kila kabila iko na lugha yake iko na sura yake masai ukimwangalia utakuta mkaleo ukimwangalia unaona huyu mkaleo mkaleo ukimwangalia huyu unaona huyu naye ni nyama ni mkuu so na hodi anapoingia na 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 
the, the more have I do I do this sura. I mean the the who? Better. 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 Hemians. Whichever. Why do I do you and the talk and one? But now, what is the destiny of Ruth? Ruth, who was look, Ruth, who was looking like a mess in Moab, become the door to the destiny of Naomi. Who you, who you, Ruth, from Moab, from Moab, alikuwa raana, anakuja kuwa liya mlango, wa baraka, kwa maisha ya nani? Ya Naomi. You know, there are these people we call our watu ambao wa 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 mesali wa tuwe mla, wa kisi tunaite mirenda me. Those people are being misused. Para kwa kijiji. Wa kimio. Ndio. Kimilo. Eh. Roa, roa. Kimilo. Roa. Roa. Good. Ruth alikuwa kama hiyo kimilo. So anapoingia Moab anaona kwamba huyu ni outcast. Huyu ni mchalaana. Lakini huyu huyu mchalaana ndiye alikuja kukaa mlango wa baraka kwa maisha ya nani? ya Naomi. So tunaambiwa unajua waliingia pale during the time of harvest. Unakumbuka hiyo story? Wameingia pale during the time of harvest. Tunaambiwa Ruth who was looking like a mess in Moab become the door of the destiny to Naomi because Ruth attracted Boaz. Do, do, do you know this story? Boaz, who was Boaz? Boaz was very rich. Huyo alikuwa the millionaire of the city. So Ruth walipofika pale remember they had nothing. Walikuwa na wanawapata sila maiti simebaki ukiwa vijana tulikuwa tunapata tunaita mara wako huko kweli mara wako unaoota unaenda una unapita tushamba tushamba unaoota unaweakanisha alafu unauso unaenda unua nguo ya christmas so ruth na yeye wakawa wanaoota lakini boss 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 yari kwa ngari ni msichana akaona lila ai msichana kwa hadi wako ndio na wanaume tunataka watu wako 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 strong so boss akaanza ku so Ruth positioned herself in a way. By the way, to Namiwa, Ruth, the only way, so uh, uh, Ruth, Akansa Kumchumbia, Poas, uh, Akansa Kumchumbia, Ruth, who was there? Mohabite. Na baadaye walikuja kuwaona. Tunaambiwa kwamba the only way Boaz was to marry Ruth was by restoring Naomi back to her inheritance. Bwana sivyo. The only way Boaz angemwaa Ruth ni kumrudishia the inheritance. That means Boaz eh angewaa Ruth ni ku restore the inheritance of Naomi back ile ya bwana. So sometimes hawa ambao tunaita umewaita kimirwa sometimes how hata ndio wamebeba baraka haitarishi wewe nikimirwa haitarishi watu wamekuita hiyo jina kwa kisisi tunaita karendane haitarishi lakini i want to assure you utakapo root back to moab mungu atakukumbulia na utakuwa mrama wa baraka kwanza wengi wana wanatumia proforma ya kwanza eh ile mtoto alipata 350 anasaidia lakini walikuwa wanakuita kimewe so root naomi akapewa pack restoration ya bwana Ruth and the Boaz gave birth to Jesse. Ruth and the Boaz, walipo waona, they gave birth to Jesse. And the Jesse gave birth to David. And the Ruth is in the pathline of Jesus. Bwana asiviwe. Huyu huyu ambaye ni kimirwa, huyu wewe ambaye ni mchalaana, ako kwa pathline ya Yesu. Katika ukoo wa Yesu ukisoma, mtaenda kusoma ya nyumbani the book of Matthew 1 verse 1 to 6. I think I've mentioned you in past 6. Huyu huyu mchalaana is in the pathway like of who? Jesus Christ. So haijalishi vile watakuita. Haijalishi watasema maneno gani. Lakini remember Mungu ako na mpango. God had plan for Ruth in Bethlehem. So pia hata wewe kijana ulie hapa, God had plan for you. Just come out of Moab. Go come back to Bethlehem na Mungu atakutumia. So through Ruth tunakuja kupata Yesu. Kwa sababu Ruth alims ali alimsa Jesse. And Jesse let, let us I think I think uh, I'm done. That is the last verse we read. Matthew chapter 1 verse 5 and 6. Verse 1 just read 1 to 6. The book 
the book of the genealogy of Jesus the Christ. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ. The son of David. The son of David. The son of Abraham. The son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Abraham was the father of Isaac. And Isaac the father of Jacob. And Isaac the father of Jacob. And Jacob the father of Judah. And the Jacob the son of his Jacob. brothers. Uh -huh. And Judah the father of Perez. Uh -huh. And Zerah by Judah, and, uh, and by Zerah by Tamar, uh -huh. and Perez the father of Hezron, uh -huh. and Hezron the father of Ram, uh -huh. and Ram the father of Abinadab, Abinadab. and Abinadab the father of Nashon, uh -huh. and Nashon the father of Salmon, uh -huh. and Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab. Salmon the father of Boaz by and Rahab. By Rahab. And Boaz the father of Obed by and, Ruth. And Boaz the father of Obed, Obed by Ruth. By Ruth. And obey the and father of Jesus. Imagine Mujalana, a man on a kind of Mujalana and a particular in the father of who? You know, they say the only sin that can never be forgiven is an repentant sin. That is the only sin that can never be forgiven. An repentant sin. Kuna watu wengi watakuja kuchukuli wa haera. Na wata chomo moto wa mirela kwa sababu wa waku ungamu. Alikuwa tu na jiona, enyewe hii dambi wezi zamewa. Enyewe hii mungu wa kiniona tu hivi. Ananyambia wea toka hui. No! And he repented, you see. Through this, this mujalana, unakuja kupala the father of who? He is in the path line of Jesus Christ. So, I want to finish by saying, many people have refused to change because of the fear of what people will say. Na homi never feared what people will say. When you will come back, God will change your name. From Mara to Naomi. Now, I want to, to make an appeal. Lapta na we ute chiangalia maisha yako. You have considered yourself. How far have you been in Moab? How long have you been in Moab? Sijui ni Moab gani umejiingisa. Lakini I want to make an appeal. Kama umejiangalia, na ukaona umbali ambao umeenda from God. Na leo hii umeamua kwamba ni nataka na mimi. Nitoke hii moa kwa mbaa ni inti ya laana, ni rudi Bethlehem, ambayo ni inti ya baraka, ni kependa, uinue mkono. Kama tu kuna ki, kama kuna kamoa fulani, unataka tukaome. Najua sometimes, ukitingisha kwa mo, hii moa by culture, ni humu kutoka. You really need like, Lord, minapili kuombe, uinue tu mkono, kaoma. Unataka kufanya maombi. Kuna kitu tu najiambia I want Adima. Utakuja tuombe. You feel like Lord. Hii moha kunimejingisha, nimeshindwa kutoka na ninataka kuanza safari pa. Tu tu bendere. Bwana nisaidie. Kama kunayo, Adima will break ataoma. And finally, uh, tunaasa kuna kuna yule na yeye amejiambia kwamba Mungu mimi ninataka kuanza maisha mapya. Hapa nianza maipa, maisha mapya, nimechoka na hii maisha ya Bethlehem. I want to get baptized. If if there is any peer na sign wa mkono. Atukupatisi sasa hii tunakuombea tu. Stay anybody. Ni kama atima umepatisa watu wako wote. So tutaomba, atima we pray. Pili, Mungu hatukubalie tena na atubadilishe china tusiwe tunaitwa mara tubaki tunaitwa nani? Na homi, which means pleasant. So I think we are there. How about this man? Homi. Put a full womb of man on a pen. You jumped on pen. Bob and Yazim to be shocked on the men and us. Jumbo Pento Majesi, but about the weather could be song and by a good aquasis bowling in the lamp. Mungo to Nakshukuru called Jubeho. Would you both to the Kutita to the park? As a quiet combat to the Quaker Tika Dimbi, Valo in the lamp. Ibu ya mbalo mwenyezi ya nchaka tukatika kili ni mwetu. Maisha yetu. Mejaza katika dimu ya mbalo mwenyezi. Mwa wanafura kutuwa na kuli. 
Mwenyezi tumeza kuinua mikono juu kuisha kwamba tumechoka katika ile demo ya Mungu tumechoka katika furaha ambayo shetani alikuwa nayo tumechoka kama pale ambapo Mwenyezi azidi kuelekea kifoni na Mwenyezi twaja kwa kwa msamaha wa dhambi. Ngine wetu bwana tumekuja hapa. Hata Mwenyezi tunajuta kwa kujiingiza wali babaya wengine atakao dawa za kulevya. Wengine hata mjiponza katika mabao ni machafu. Ngine kuangaleta na kala na picha chafu kwenye simu kwenye Mungu ni bali ya Mungu ya kwa kutukiomba Mwenyezi uweze kutusamehe. Tusamehe Mungu. Mengi mioyo yao imeweza. Kwanza kwetu Mwenyezi, Mwenyezi tuomba ya kwamba uweze kuja kwetu na Mwenyezi kwako na jote tunapata faraja. Tukiomba uweze kutusaidie. Tushike mkono vile kitabu cha Isaya kinasema kwamba sio gofu wala tusifadhaike maana ni Mungu wetu tunashika mkono na kutembea na sisi tembea na sisi he Mungu kama familia ya Tobo University SD kwa nasi ya tawiki hii kwa nasi tunapoanza wiki mpya hata Mwenyezi leo usiku tunapokuwa na usiku wa kesha Mwenyezi tutakapozungumza na maombi mbalimbali Mwenyezi pia kila mtu wa pamoja na hari hili Mwenyezi usiku huu tutakapokuwa tukiwa kule Central Church tujumuike wote kwa pamoja kama familia tukuombe wewe Mungu tunatumaini kwamba utaweza kutusikia kipindi cha mchana tutakapokuongozwa na mwana wako wewe Mungu uwe naye na zidi kumtumia nasi wote Mwenyezi zidi kutembea na sisi katika hali zote za maisha Mungu atukiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliyemkombozi wetu. Amen. Happy. Happy day. We have the end of the morning service.